based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. I have come having great hopes and much desire that I should find that ye had humbled yourselves before God, that ye had continued in the supplicating of His grace, that I should find that ye were blameless before Him, and not in that awful dilemma that our brethren were in at Zarahemla. For behold, I say unto you, there be many things to come. There is one thing which is of more importance than they all. For behold, the time is not far distant that the Redeemer liveth and cometh among his people. He shall be born of Mary, she being a virgin, a precious and chosen vessel, who shall be overshadowed and conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost and bring forth a son, yea, even the Son of God. And he shall go forth suffering pains and afflictions and temptations of every kind. And this, that the word might be fulfilled, which saith, he will take upon him the pains and the sicknesses of his people. And he will take upon him death, that he may loose the bands of death which bind his people. And he will take upon him their infirmities, that his bowels may be filled with mercy according to the flesh that he may know according to the flesh how to succor his people according to their infirmities. And he will take upon him the sins of his people, that he might blot out their transgressions according to the power of his deliverance. Ye must repent and be born again. For the Spirit saith, if ye are not born again, ye cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, come and be baptized unto repentance, that ye may be washed from your sins, that ye may have faith on the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world, who is mighty to save and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. Come and fear not, and lay aside every sin which easily doth beset you, and show unto your God that ye are willing to repent of your sins and enter into a covenant with him to keep his commandments and witness it unto him this day by going into the waters of baptism. And whosoever doeth this shall have eternal life. Do you believe these things? Yea. I know that ye believe them by the manifestation of the Spirit which is in me. And now, because your faith is strong concerning the things which I have spoken, great is my joy. Be humble, submissive, and gentle, being diligent in keeping the commandments of God at all times. And see that ye have faith, hope, and charity, and then ye will always abound in good works. May the peace of God rest upon you according to your faith and good works from this time forth and forever. Amen. <laughs>